I failed at being you, but I'm winning at being me. I'm winning at being free. Ain't no competition but me. See, I realize that I'm free, and I realize that I'm me. And I found out that I'm not alone, and there's plenty of people like me. That What's good? I'm Jack and I'm back with another bootleg figure review and this time I'll be reviewing the bootleg SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War Thor. Now, I really liked Thor in Avengers Infinity War and I liked him in Endgame. Actually, Thor was my favorite character in Endgame. I mean, Captain America, it was cool that he was able to wheel Mjolnir and you know it was cool that iron man was actually able to figure out time travel even though i'm pretty sure we all knew he was going to be able to figure out time travel but <clears throat> thor was my favorite character in any game and so when i saw this bootleg go up on ebay i immediately had to buy it now i've seen other people review this figure so i know fully well that this figure is way shorter than the official version. As a matter of fact, when I got this figure, I took it out and compared it to some of my other figures, and it's way too short. I'm just going to say that off the top. It's way too short. But other than that, it's a really good figure. Surprisingly. It's a very good figure. It's just, it's just too short. But as you can see on the box, we have none of the official Bandai and Marvel logos. None on the side. But this one does say SH Figure Arts. In the Hulk video, it didn't have SH Figure Arts on the side. You know, no Marvel stuff on the back, but it does say SH Figure Arts on the back. SH Figure Arts on this side. And SH Figure Arts on the bottom. I don't have the official figure to compare this to because the official figure costs way too much. I mean, that figure is like $150 and up. I don't have that kind of money. And honestly, I don't want the SH Figure Arts, the official SH Figure Arts version that bad to spend that much money on. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get him out of the packaging and see what we're working with. And here he is out of the packaging. As you can see, I don't know if my lights are up too bright, but I'm doing the best I can to dim them in, in order for you to get a good look at the figure. But as you can see on the side of his head, we have white marks where his shave marks should be from Thor Ragnarok. They didn't, well, the, whoever made the figure, they didn't actually shave that out. Well, they didn't sculpt the shave marks inside of the head they just use the you know like a white paint to do the marks you know by me covering the head you can actually see them very well but for the most part the head scope looks all right there's really no paint imperfection that i've seen from this figure i mean there really can't be any paint imperfection because this figure is mostly all black plastic except with a few you know except for this brown paint right here and the arms and the little bit of silver that you can well slightly see on the legs and boots but other than that yeah it's an actually decent paint job I mean, he's a bit glossy on some parts, like this part is glossy and this part is matte black, but it's, it's nice. It's a nice figure. It's a nice figure regardless. Now we can take a look at his accessories and excuse me if, you know, the lights are a little too bright in the recording of this video. I don't know what happened in between me recording my Hulk video and me recording this Thor video, so... Yeah, please just bear with me. And here we have a pair of open hands. Here's a pair of gripping hands for Stormbreaker. Now, even in reviews of the fish figure, people have been having problems with being able to, you know, firmly hold Stormbreaker in these hands. And so, when I got this figure, I noticed 
I noticed that problem too. Like I had to position Stormbreaker in a certain way just so it would actually stay in these hands. And here we have the Stormbreaker X and it looks it looks really good. Alright, I don't know if it's exactly movie accurate. I can't tell. I mean and I know from my lights being too bright you can't actually see that well but from what I can see it looks it looks good yeah I don't see any paint imperfections in this in this weapon that's it for the accessories now let me swap out one of the hands just so you can get a feel for how you know he's able to hold Stormbreaker also be very careful these pegs are super tiny and there's one thing to know that when I got this figure, actually, I think it was this ball peg that actually split while I was trying to switch the hands out when I first got this figure. Okay, I had to do it off camera, but I was actually able to switch out the hands, and now I'll put Stormbreaker in just so you can see how he's able to hold it. I mean, he can hold it good enough this part of the handle but he grips it better like towards the middle yeah I really like that pose now I switch out one of the open palm hands and as you can see I had to switch out the hand off camera just to actually get it on but it's actually able I mean it is possible to get the hand switched you just have to take your time and you know go at it with a little finesse you know just a little bit yeah, now that we have the accessories out of the way, there's one thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about this cape. Now, I have a Marvel Legends Infinity War Thor with a custom wired cape. And this cape doesn't have wire in it, but it's actually you know, a two-tone cape like he has in the movie. So this cape is more movie accurate than the custom cape I have. But... The custom cape has the wire in it, so yeah, I like it better. And I don't like the fact that this cape can split open like this. And this makes it look like a parachute or something. And so, yeah, that's just... That was just a bad design choice on SH Figure Arts part. I mean, I know this is the bootleg, but even the official figure has the same type of cape. So, yeah, they could have done better. I mean, it's a soft goods cape and all, but they could have done better. And now with all of that out of the way, let's go of his articulation. He can look, well, he can't really look up because of the collar on the back of his neck, but he can look down really far. I mean, he you can get him to look up a little bit, but not that much, but he can look down very far. He has... An upper diaphragm joint and a lower diaphragm joint so he can bend down that much and bend back, you know, really far. And there is no gapage when he actually bends. I mean, there's an upper waist swivel and a lower waist swivel. Arms have butterfly joints, although I can't seem to, you know, get a good enough feel for these butterfly joints for some reason. Well, it's a bootleg, so, yeah. They're there, but they just don't seem to... They seem very stiff, actually. They're just very stiff. Alright. Ball joint at the shoulder. Bicep. Hidden bicep swivel. You know, single jointed. It's a ball joint elbow. And it's single jointed. So, that's... It only bends that far. And a ball joint at the wrist. Same with the other arm, stiff butterfly joint, hidden bicep swivel, single ball joint elbow, ball joint at the wrist, talk about the lower waist swift, legs can kick up that much, kick back that much, legs they drop down, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankle, you know, well, a little bit of ankle pivot and rotation and toe hinge. And with the other leg, same thing. Legs can drop down. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. 
and slight ankle pivot and rotation and a toe hinge. Size wise, this figure stands about, yeah, about five and three quarter inches tall. So this figure is very short. I mean, hella short. This figure is tiny and this figure in no way, shape or form can be a replacement for the official SH Figure Watch Thor or the Marvel Legends Infinity War Thor. I say your best bet is to try to get the Marvel Legends Infinity War Thor because that figure is way cheaper and it's been, you know, it's easier to find than it was last year because last year that figure was selling out everywhere. But now he's a lot easier to find. But with that, let's get into some size comparisons. Here he is next to in game armored Thanos builder figure and Marvel Legends Infinity War Thor with a custom wired cape. And I was wrong, this cape is two-tone. It is red and black. So, neither one of these is actually movie accurate. Because I think in the movie, his cape is all red. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the cape is all red in the movie. So, yeah, I was wrong on that part. But, this guy is just so tiny compared to this Thor. And especially this Thanos. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, this is no this figure is no substitute for this Thor. Articulated icons, Black Ninja, and Mythic Legions, female vampire knight. My custom Marvel Legends, King of the Dead, Black Panther, and Star Force Captain Marvel. Mecha God of War for Kratos. SH Figure War Super Vegeta and Storm Collectibles. Street Fighter V Ken in the alternate blue costume. And last but not least, here is compared to all of the other bootleg SH Figure Arts Infinity War figures that I review. Hulk, Black Widow, Iron Spider, and Thanos. And as you can see, Thor is only slightly taller than Bl Black Widow and Iron Spider. So, yeah, this figure is really, size-wise, this figure is no good. It's no good at all. All in all, it's a decent, it's a good figure. The only drawback, <clears throat> the only bad thing about it is that it's too, it's too short. So I would give this figure like a 8 out of 10. I mean, it has perfect articulation, stiff joints, no paint defects. Like... It would be the perfect action figure. It would be the perfect Thor figure if it wasn't just so short. I mean, uh, that height really, really holds him back. But if you can't afford the official SH figure art, so I say get this. Only if, only if you don't mind him being so short. Other than that, yeah, I'd say it's not worth getting i would say just go ahead and get the marvel legends version and try to get a custom wire cape with him but yeah but just like i said in my bootleg hulk video if you're interested in buying this figure or if you're interested in buying my entire lot of my bootleg sh figure arts infinity war figures just you know message me right here on youtube and yeah we can work something out but other than that i want to say thank you to everyone who watched the video all the way through thank you to all my recent subscribers i really appreciate it and with that being said it's been real